Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is WooCommerce booking tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to add bookings for WooCommerce products in WordPress. The plugin that we're gonna use today is called Booking for WooCommerce by WP Swing. This is the description of this plugin and these are the features. I'm gonna provide a link in the description for this plugin if you're interested in reading this. Let's add Booking for WooCommerce products. Let's go into the WordPress and let's download the plugins that we're gonna need. You have to go into the plugins and click on add new plugins. Then go into the search bar and first of all, install the WooCommerce. Click on install now and then activate it. Okay, now let's download the second one, which is booking for WooCommerce. Let's go into the plugins and click on add new. And let's search booking for WooCommerce in the search bar. Okay, here's the plugin, which is called booking for WooCommerce by WP Swing. Let's install now and let's activate it. Okay, now both of the plugins are activated and uh, let me show you how you can create the booking for the products. Let's go into the WP Swings and let's go into the bookings for WooCommerce. Okay, we have five options here, which is general settings, configuration settings, Bookings Calendar, Overview, and Developer. Let's go into the Configuration Settings and you can set your product's availability time here. Then go into the Additional Costs and if your product has some byproducts, you can add additional costs for additional services here. You can name it anything. You can provide a slug for it, provide the description, booking cost, and you can click on add new booking cost. The new booking cost will appear here. I have already made one which is called digital marketing. The next option is additional services. If you click on it, you can add additional services with your products. You can name it anything, provide a slug, provide a description, the service cost, and you can set the quantity here by minimum quantity and maximum quantity. If you toggle this on, you can select the minimum quantity of your product and maximum quantity of your product. Then click on add new booking services and your additional services will appear here. After doing all of this, now you have to create a new product and add booking for that product. Let's go into the products and click on all products. Click on add new product. Here you can name your product. I'm gonna name it as dummy. You can provide a description for it. Then go into the product data and select booking products. Now you can select the booking type, dual calendar, the quantity chosen by customers, Maximum booking per user, booking confirmation. You can also allow the cancellation for your product, order statuses, booking units. You can select hours or days. You can also schedule your timing, then go into the costs and you can set the booking unit cost. And you can select this amount per individual, base cost, base cost per people. Go into the peoples. Here you can select maximum and minimum number of peoples. You can choose any number. Here you can select the services. Add extra services. Availability. Here you can select any holiday on the calendar. Here you can select the product category, which is booking product. Here you can set the tags. We had made additional costs in the booking plugin. 
You can add these additional costs here. Let me show you how. You have to click on this bar and search your additional costs here, like I had made digital marketing. Here it is. Same with additional services. And let's upload some content for this product. And then click on publish. Okay, here it says product published. You can view your product. Let's check the product really quickly. Let's click on it and open it new tab. And here is the product. You can select peoples. You can select the check-in date and check-out date. Here are the services. Here is the service cost, the base cost, and general cost. General cost per day is 500 rupees. The additional cost is zero. You can select it multiple times and you can click on book now. So that's how you can add the booking for any product in WooCommerce. I hope that you really like the WooCommerce booking tutorial. And if you learned something new today, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Peace.